a fallen public servant. That's how the chief judge described the ex-mayor of Jontia right before announcing his sentence. Bloss appeared for the fourth and final day of his sentencing hearing this morning with defense counsel Joseph Rosano. Attorney Rosano asked the court to move to closed chambers. After nearly one hour, both parties returned, and the defense withdrew their objection to the prosecution's request for sentencing request enhancements, meaning Bloss no longer contested the government's sentencing guidelines. Under the guidelines for pleading guilty to one count of extortion, Bloss faced a maximum of 37 months in federal prison, followed by a three-year supervised release term. The court ultimately agreed, but allowed credit for time served. The former mayor has been incarcerated for nearly 16 months since his arrest on September 24, 2019. He was indicted on 13 counts for offenses related to allowing drug trafficking through village mailboxes in exchange for bribes from confidential informant identified as Brenda Kinian. He subsequently pled guilty to one count of extortion under color of official right. Over the course of the sentencing hearing, video and audio recordings between Kinian and Bloss were played back as evidence of the crime. In court today, Judge Gatewood told Bloss she was inclined to sentence him higher than the sentencing guidelines based on Kinian's testimony. Bloss received four bribes totaling $11,700 in payments from Kinian, who posed as a drug trafficker from November 2018 to January 2019. While Rosano had previously argued for a lower sentence guideline, challenging the bribe payment amounts, the government stood firm in requesting Bloss face the maximum penalty. Assistant U.S. Attorney Laura Sambataro argued, quote, It is important to note the seriousness of this. Mr. Bloss has spent his life in public service. He was a court martial. He was a police officer. And then the mayor. He took something that was meant to be of service for his village and put it to his own use. We deserve better from our public officials here, unquote. Addressing the court, the 58-year-old former mayor read a lengthy letter accepting responsibility for his actions. He said in the 470 days of imprisonment he has served thus far, the days and nights go by with him feeling afraid, and he vowed to never commit another crime. Bloss stated, I feel my punishment has already started. This is the most painful thing of my entire life. This crime presented itself to me by way of temptation and took control over me. In truth, I just wanted some money. But the need for money is no justification for my action, but merely a reason. I am not perfect, nor will I ever be. I made a serious mistake. Bloss added, since the onset of COVID-19, he was fearful for his life. Bloss has medical concerns and comorbidities, and when COVID entered the Department of Corrections, these emotions were only heightened. He said prison staff was slow to implement safety plans, and to date, his fears remain. Bloss's remorse was noted, as were his medical conditions. However, the chief judge ultimately sentenced him to the maximum penalty. Judge Gatewood recommended he serve the time in Hawaii or in California. The defense requested Hawaii because Bloss's fiance, former Guam Department of Education Deputy Superintendent Stacy Coletta, resides there. Coletta is no longer with GDOE. Judge Gatewood further ordered Bloss write a letter of apology within one week to the village of Jontnia for violating their trust. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero.